Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 44 with me Craig Barton. Now as I've spoken about in my previous two Resource of the Week videos, currently myself and two colleagues are working on rewriting our year 9 to 11 schemes of learning and we're also tweaking our year 7 to 8 schemes of learning and my life is being made a hell of a lot easier by some of the wonderful resources that have been uploaded to TES Maths. And each week I'm picking a, a particular resource that's helped me and talking about it a little bit. Now this week we come to look at lesson starters. And I think there's a bit of a myth um, in the world of teaching mathematics that's sprung up over the last few years that says that you can teach all of maths and perhaps you should teach all of maths through rich tasks, investigations, puzzles and problems. And look, I'm as big a fan of rich tasks, puzzles, problems and investigations as anybody. And I love to use them regularly with all my students, no matter what their age and ability are. But there's no doubt that unless students have the basic fundamentals of mathematics in place, for example, comfortable, com being comfortable with number bonds, times tables, negative numbers, being able to quickly simplify fractions, they, they simply can't access new material and they certainly can't make progress through rich tasks and investigations and it becomes increasingly frustrating for them. And I feel as soon as kids have that confidence and that ability to quickly do mental calculations and spot relationships between things, then their enjoyment in maths goes through the roof, their progress in maths goes through the roof and then they can start to develop those problem solving and investigative skills that we know they certainly are going to need for this new GCSE and this new mathematics curriculum. So. The start of a lesson, I feel, is absolutely crucial. And there are loads of amazing websites and stuff out there that work upon these nu numeracy-based lesson starters that work on getting these fundamental skills in place. But one resource that I discovered recently on, on TES, which I'm certainly going to build into our scheme of learning, is this one. Lesson Starters Excel Interactive Workbook, which has been uploaded by Gaza Coach. And it's <laughs> it'd be no surprise that this is an Excel document. And Excel is absolutely wonderful. Those of you who've been following my Resource of the Week uh, series for the last couple of years will know I'm, I'm a bit in love with Excel and I'm a bit more in love with people who can do amazing things with Excel. Because Excel has that wonderful feature that if you know what you're doing on it, you can use the random number generating feature to be able to create an infinite number of questions. And also, if you're really clever, you can get it to answer those questions for you as well. And this is what Gaza Coach has done. So the Excel uh, spreadsheet looks a little bit like this and you can see loads of different areas of, of mathematics um, for, for students to have a go at. Um, I'm just going to uh, open up with this one, uh, ordering numbers. So you click on this, ordering numbers, and students have to order the numbers from lowest to highest. And if you click new, there's the random number thing kicking in and the kids write down what they think the answer is and they click show and they're good to go from there and then if they want another one click new and they're good to go um, incidentally this level thing here seems to be a little bit broken on this one but hopefully the author will, will, will get this sorted fairly soon but i'm pleased to say it's working on all the other things so if i go back to contents let's pick another one what about this one reading numbers read the number out below so again just very quick start a quick fire thing that you could bang on the board um, at the start I like this one as well digit value this is very clever so there's a number what's the value of the of the number seven there let's have a look at the answer that's 700 give the kids another one what's the value of the number four there that's 40 and so on and then we get into uh, slightly different areas of mathematics as well. This is wonderful. This. What about this bid mass? I know you can't quite see the, the B's being cut off there. But look at this one. Work out the sum below, which of the answers below is correct. Somehow he's cleverly managed to, to get it so that the wrong answer uh, the kids will get to if they do bid mass um, in the wrong way. And loads of really nice ones. That's obviously one of the old classic bid mass ones that, that kids get wrong time and time and time again there. So you can see here that there's just loads of ideas for quick fire star activities uh, that can be used either at the start of the lesson or perhaps even halfway through the lesson just to bring the whole class together and just a bit of quick fire stuff. Uh, oh, I'll tell you another one I really like here actually. What about this? Comparative bar charts. This is clever stuff. So again, just uh, a bar chart with, with data there. Perhaps bang that up on the board and say to the kids, all right, I want you to write me down uh, two things that that bar chart tells you or I want you to represent that data in a, in a different way wonderful stuff that gets the kids thinking about data handling as well this is good as well mental methods uh, this is an example of where the level thing I think where this works for this so if you want to step it up a little bit 
There you can go to the level three one, which is making sure their time to table uh, division bonds are, are, are firmly in place, which is absolutely fundamental for simplifying fractions or factors or all that kind of stuff. I just go back. Uh, should we pick one more? What about this one? Rounding. This is nice as well. So again, loads of things for the kids to round and you can select what you want them to round it to and it'll come up like that. So really, really clever stuff, really simple. And I like the idea that it's all there just in one document. <laughs> and I find that when I'm creating schemes of learning, I don't want staff to have to use several different resources. If I can find one resource that does a, a, a job really well, then I'll always favor that because staff get comfortable with it and they're more likely to go back to it. So this, I think, is going to be an essential uh, part of our, our armory that staff are going to have access to, and I'm going to be encouraging them to perhaps use that particular one maybe once a week for five minutes at the start of the lesson, just a bit of quick fire stuff, or as I've spoken about, maybe halfway through a lesson just to bring the class together, or maybe at the end of a lesson just for a bit of quick, fast recall. And as I say, there's loads of great stuff out there on the web for, for lesson starters, but this is just one particular nice one that I really like the look of. And here it is, available completely for free on Tez Maths. Incidentally, if you are interested in the progress that we're making and the ups and downs that we're having as we try to create this scheme of learning over the next few weeks, um, I've been blogging about it. So if you go over to my website, uh, if, well, if you just go to mrbartonmaths.com and you'll see a link to the blog there. If you just Google Mr. Barton uh, Maths blog, you'll get there. And you'll see a series of posts that I'm writing about writing a scheme of learning that, that some of you may find interesting. If you have any advice for me, then uh, please let me know. And all the TES resources that I find that I find useful will go on that blog as well. So there you go. Uh, just one more resource of the week video uh, to come next week to mark our final week of term. The end is finally in sight. So I hope all's well with you all. And I hope you're having a, a fairly peaceful uh, end of term and roll on the summer. Take care and bye for now.